in the new incarnation of the Amiga, and not just the Amiga, but the entire Commodore. If you're not interested in how it all works and have already seen the previous film, I am Amiga, skip to 3 minutes and 46 seconds for a hands-on tutorial on how to operate this system. This time, everything is configured on Diaphy, a very stripped-down version of Debian Bookworm 12, and it all fits on a 64 gigabytes card. It's considered a good solution as we have several systems sharing space on the card, encompassing literally everything Commodore has ever done. The video you're watching is accelerated to add more dynamism. So if you want to watch it at the original speed, adjust the playback speed in your player. This is an instructional video that is worth watching until the end because there's a truly explosive surprise waiting for everyone. We named this new system Pimidor, but we forgot to change the raspberry sign to a tomato. This idea came to us while creating this film. Do you remember that game? Because I don't remember. I apologize for allowing myself a bit of playtime now when I have all these important pieces of information to convey to you. Alright, that's enough of that, really. Now, I'm presenting the same system again, but this time recorded with a screen recorder. This is where you were supposed to skip if you didn't want to watch what I recorded earlier. The system is incredibly simple and intuitive, and there are really a lot of games here, around 10,000 in total, including those from Amiga and C64. Oh, I almost forgot. There's also Big 2 O, where there are almost a thousand games and programs as well. All the systems are completely free and available on the internet. However, it's important to note that you should have your own BIOS or, as they're called, Kickstarts. Setting up the network is really child's play in Diapi. However, you have to do it from the terminal. Thanks to this, there's no need to install a processor and memory intensive network manager. Everything is configured from the terminal. But don't worry, you can find a detailed description of how to do it in the red file. So, as you can see, this is how it looks on the Raspberry Pi, and it can't get any better. Or maybe it can. In fact, this system is constantly being improved and will soon be even better. Follow us on YouTube. We have really interesting ideas. And soon we'll try to share them with you. Meanwhile, I wish you all the best. And see you soon in new videos.